Yeah, so. Yeah, because the next one would have been an elite and then a common. If, if it was common, common, then maybe. But I know they only had, like, one enemy. Well, not one enemy, but I didn't have a lot of enemies that the elf warrior could have uh, sponged off of. So, so, here's the shop. Finally, a merchant. This is the safest place of the map. And it's the right place if you want to spend some gold and gems. Here you can find a vast assortment of cards, skills, and useful services. Let's look in more detail. Let's see. Each merchant has six random cards. Two common, two uncommon, two rares. Okay, so I got that wrong. Uh, that you can buy with gold. And six random skills that can be bought with gems. You can find gems in treasure chests and by defeating elites and bosses. Or skipping cards. Skills are powerful permanent buffs that provide a passive bonus for the rest of the run. You can also take it take advantage of some useful skills like healing, remove cards, and much more. Yeah, so unlike Slay the Spire, there are no resting points. <clears throat> if you want to heal, you have to do it at the merchant shops. However, what's nice about this game is that you can grab free coins, which give you 50, so that can give you health or increase your max. Um, I'm just going to skip this commercial for you guys just to take the gold. Watch a video. Oh. Do I not have access to... God damn it. Okay, I guess since I'm playing on Bluestack, it's not connected that way. Or my internet is just absolute crap. Alright. <clears throat> Anyways though, this is kind of why I, I said earlier, um, pick your tribes. So, the young fox is a beastman. Do you want damage to all enemies for each beastman card in your deck? We currently have two. But this beastman also counts itself, so this will be doing three to all enemies. So, a very nice a early AoE. Uh, Fire Priestess, apply three burn to all enemies. I'm not using spells. Waving of the Night. Gain one mana for each combat card in your hand. Gain overcharge until the end of your turn. This is a very good card concerning that most of our our deck is combat. Let's see, Living Armor is a demon card. Oh, I didn't know we had this early. Gain 12 armor, gain 6 thorn until your next turn, but lose 1 HP. <clears throat> yeah. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't buy it. Uh, Hyper Samurai, the robot. Deal 12 damage. If this, if this kills the enemy, do not discard this card and replenish your mana. Mm, yeah, most of the legendary cards are, or the rare cards, I should stop from the legendary. They're just okay at best. Wizard of Nature, double your strength, double your res resistance, exile this card. Oh, actually, I didn't... Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought that the Hyper Samurai exiled itself. I guess it doesn't. Okay, so it's not as bad as some of the others. But, yeah. Uh, right now, we don't have any way to gain strength or resistance, so this card is useless. Uh, I'm going to buy the Lady of the Night, just so that we have extra mana. I would like to buy this, but alas, we cannot. Skills. We have the Ghost Shield. At the start of each combat, gain 10 shield. That's not at the end, at the start of each turn. That's just the start of initial combat. <clears throat> Let's see. At each combat, the first enemy that attacks you receives 9 damage and 9 weak. The anti-monster mine. Mm, yeah. Knowledge of resistance. At the start of each combat, gain 1 resistance. What resistance does is... Uh, lets you gain one extra point of shield. So, um, our regular shields give us four. This will give us. Each shield will now give us five. As start as combat, apply four weak to all enemies. That's the dark wall. Shuriken attack. Every time you play four combat cards in a single turn, gain one strength. Ah, oh, I would have loved this. It's going to be very good with the Lady of the Night. Uh, Rabbit Paw. You can no longer become cursed. Cursed is a, represented by a flaming book symbol, and with Cursed, every time you play a card, you get um, two damage gets dealt to you. I think it's two, might be three. Um, it can be blocked 
Uh, you can block this damage with shields, but just kind of note that. Very few enemies actually uh, hit you with the curse. Usually it's bosses. Okay, that's enough ranting there. Whew. Sorry if I was talking a lot there. Wow, a treasure room! This is the easiest way to earn gems and gold. When you have the chance to get there, don't hesitate. <coughs> Excuse me. The prize in Rand is random, and you can find three types of chests. Bronze, silver, and gold. Really? No platinum? Maybe they took that out. Let's see, from smaller to bigger prizes. So let's open and see what's inside. So yeah, each time you do this, you have to watch a video. Fuck. God damn it. I'm gonna have to check my settings to make sure that this is synced with my phone so that it can actually freaking connect to the damn internet. <laughs> Cause this is just, this is just a kick in the nuts here. Luckily, I can exit out of there. Uh, screw you, shop. <laughs> You're not that great. Okay, so, I'll just explain some of the cards here. Black, Black Knight. Deal damage equal to your shield. Not bad, but you do... This card needs um, a rare card that goes with it. I don't know if we have access to that at level 1. Uh, we've already seen the Knight Fairy. Elder Fairy. Gain one mana for each magic card in your hand. Heal for one magic card. For sorry, for each magic card in your hand, and then exile this card. This is a very good card because it doesn't give you the um, overcharge status. Elite guard, deal ten damage, gain two resistance until the end of turn. This is a. <clears throat> this is also a very good card. Shadow assassin, very good boss killer. Target enemy's health is halved. Uh, lose three. HP and then this is exiled is why does this say remove? It just gets exiled. Unless of course they the update changed that, but I'm pretty sure you still have this card. Skills, we've seen the shuriken attack. Bone arrow. Oh bone armor, excuse me. If you end your turn without shield, gain six shield. Not that great. Treasure map. Treasure rooms now contain a only silver, gold, and platinum chests. Okay, there it is. But I think you still have a chance to find platinum chests even without this. It's just incredibly low. Gold ingot. Gain 300 gold. Or coin. Frost Nova. At the start of each combat, daze all enemies. And that just this just means they're put on the clock status so they won't do anything. Apple Pie. Whenever you enter a merchant room, heal 15 HP. Okay. Time to leave. Ah yes, the werewolf. Or sorry, I can't throw. Wolf leather. Whenever a wolf dies, this creature gains five shield until its next turn. And right now, this in enemy intends to evoke other creatures. It just summons a wolf that deals f four or five damage and has, I think, 19 health. So yeah, uh, deal as much damage as you can. Ah. Okay, he has 18 health. But he is gonna be hitting for a lot, so let's just do that. Block as much damage as I can. I'm taking five. Okay, good. Oh, I should also talk about the wolf before you guys say, hey. So, this minion has the runaway stat, or the Grey Wolf has this little runaway blue status. Minions abandon if their leader dies. So yeah, you want to kill him fast. There we go, back to three mana. There we go. So, if we get lucky and we pick up Lady of the Night again, we may be able to kill him here. We're not that fortunate. I lost some health, so I'm just going to drain him. There we go. <clears throat> good, good, good. And now 
the Vampire Lord is in my exile deck or pile. And then die. Okay, what do we got? Another Vampire Lord. Cool. Get the frick over. There we go. The Desert Fighter deals 6 damage. If the target has shield, it takes double damage. Meaning this just goes to 12. Not that great, because it's very specific. The Ant Wizard. Gain 3 shield for each Beastman card in your deck. Consumes all mana. So this is your last resort. Uh, just play this card last. But because we have 2, this will go up to 3. So this is a very nice card. So this gives us 9 shield. Also, word of note, if you have the resistance status, <clears throat> this will go up to gain four shield for each Beastman card. So, cards like the Beastman Wizard, there's a couple other cards that do the same, these greatly benefit from extra attack or extra resistant statuses. We'll go ahead and pick that up. That one will actually do us a lot better than the Vampire Lord in the long run. <clears throat> As it doesn't exile itself. All right, then there's these spiders. Do that, do that, do that, do that, and die. That's the power of late of the night, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> yeah, dang. <laughs> That's what happens when you have too many bad cards in your deck. Ah, I should have Vampire Lord for two health there. Wasn't thinking. <clears throat> Crimson Guard. Gain for shield. If the target has burn, deal eight damage. I don't get this, but this doesn't sound like a great card anyways. <clears throat> The Fairy Queen. Oh, this is one we gotta pick up. Gain two strength until the end of the turn. Gain two resistance until the end of the turn. Quest. Play 30 fairy cards to upgrade. This includes herself. So, what's nice is this card will... Every time you shuffle your deck, this card will just keep coming back. So, it's really nice. This is a very good card. Mage Thief. Consume all your mana... Gain 10 coin for each mana, point consumed, and then remove from the deck. I've never used this. I don't know if I know if I, I would ever use this card. <laughs> Let's pick up the Fairy Queen. Our deck is getting a little big, so I'm gonna have to fix that at the next floor when I come to a shop. Ah, crap. This is one of the worst enemies here. The Evil Forest Guardian. Whose ability is Evil Berries. At the end of at the end of the enemy turn, or yeah, their turn, shuffle an Evil Berries card into your discard pile. The Evil Berries. If the if the Evil Berries stay in your hand, not deck, just hand, <clears throat> they will deal three damage. This has been reduced from four from four damage, but this is still a pain in the ass boss. I hate this thing. Mainly because the cherries just clutter up your deck. Let's see. Night Fawns. Yeah, they're just regular enemies. Okay, let's gain one extra mana. Um, focus on this one over here. Ooh, yes. Ah. Let's see, this will give me... S that's not enough to block, so... Here comes... My insane amount of shields. I have 17. So, I got 5 shields for each Beastman card. So I had a total of 15. That, my friends, is the power. It's just the power. Um, I'll leave this in my deck, even though it's kind of cluttering a bit. There we go, fully blocked. Okay, so here's that curse status I was talking about. Yeah, every time I play a card, take damage. Whatever. Uh, because, so like I said, you play a shield, you can start mitigating that damage. Hit that guy. Hit that guy. And just 
there. Oh, oh wait. Yes. I don't care. I want to get that fair, the fairy queen out as many times as I can, even if it costs me health, because at the end of this boss fight, we heal to full HP anyways, so that doesn't matter too much. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's just do that just because. Do that. Yeah. Ah, oh, there are cherries in my. Okay, good thing I actually did do that. The cherries would have caused me to take more damage. Ah, stupid cherries. Oh my god! Get out, get out. Okay, good. They're not attacking. Let's just play this. So, one thing to note is the cherries do exile themselves from the deck. So, as you can see, we have a lot of cherries. There are certain cards that benefit from, that have text that say, um, do something based on how many cards are in your exile deck. So, there's a specific robot card that I really like that does this, but unfortunately we do not have that card. Ah, we're overcharged. Okay, so let's see here. This, that, Three damage is better than ten. <laughs> Even though I have clutter, but now this thing does just does not attack anymore. Get out! Get out! Bam! Whatever. I got shields. That's why you want the ant man <laughs> or the ant warrior in your deck. Get out! Get out! Use that. Now, um, what the fairy queen does. Actually, I don't even know if that's the actual name. It might be something else. Anyway, so what the Fairy Queen does is once it's upgraded, it will permanently give you the plus two, plus two. So yeah, instead of... <clears throat> it will exile itself, but it will permanently give you that buff. So that's why I'm just recklessly playing the fairy instead of trying to deal some damage. Oh boy. Out, out. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this boss is really annoying because of the cherries. And the curse. Oh yeah. Okay, good. We had we had a shield, so that's good. <clears throat> yeah, this is the most annoying boss in the game, aside from the final boss. Just because of this, just because of his mechanics here. There, ah, oh, stupid mouse. Oh sure, now you give me stupid commercials. You can do that when I was trying to open a chest. Okay, when you defeat a boss, you will always have the option to pick out a rare card. Dark Wizard. Deals 7 damage to all enemies for each mana point, so... Max 21. Consumes all your mana. Not that great. Uh, Hyper Samurai War Robot. We already discussed this. And the Wizard of Nature... Could get me 4, but... I'm gonna have to wait till late. Much, much later. Before I even consider taking that one. 